let's talk about a few things that you should expect when you start a worm business. So enjoy the video! Well, hello. Here goes my red wiggers and blue worms. Let's see what's going on. If you are thinking about starting a worm business and you got it established, the first thing you're going to run into is people are going to, going to think that you're stupid or nuts for even wanting to invest your time into worms. They're going to be like, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no way that someone is going to buy worms. You're not going to make money off of worms. And why even waste your time even messing with worms? So there will be people that tell you that your idea is definitely stupid. But you cannot listen to those people because there will be haters, negative Nancys, and people that drink that haterade. So what you need to do is get connected with someone that actually knows about worm farming. Touch base with other people that have worm farms and connect with them because they can help you. And another thing that you need to think about is what is your reasoning to have your worms? Are you wanting to make money, which we all are? And do you have a goal to, as to how much money you think you should, should or want to make? Because if you don't have a goal, you're gonna fail. You gotta have your stuff written on paper so you can actually see your goals and that way it will help you to get things started and to move in the right direction. Because in the good book it says that a man needs to plan his destination because if he builds something and doesn't have the blueprints, people are gonna make fun of him. So you gotta have a plan, you gotta have your stuff written on paper and that way you gotta have your goals established because that way that will allow you to become successful with your worm farm, worm farming business. Well, here goes my first batch of the Euros, European night crawlers. And now, also when you get your, your business established, there are gonna be people that you think they are your friends which majority of the people that you deal with will be your friends, but some people wait until you become successful and try to copy or still copy or use your um, ideas and say that they're they're the ones that um, made that product or blah yada 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 yada. So you got to be beware because some people are on the they look out and wait for you to start something and then they like I said might either take your idea or something like that then also people get jealous because you are getting success successful and people don't like to see that so you have to be aware also that people will get jealous so that's something to look out into as well but what you need to do is just keep focusing on your goals and your visions and keep moving forward so on that it's gonna happen that people will definitely get jealous because you be became successful and that makes them look bad so it's just something to be aware of Got a couple of my fingers, get them off of there. And now let's have a look at my other worm bin with the Rebel Euros. This is my Rebel worm bin with Euros that tried to escape because of the heat element up top. There's a few on the lid, which is normal. You know, there's not a lot. There's some curious worms in here. So. I'm just glad that 
a lot more are not trying to get to the top of my bend. And now, another thing I have to tell you. Just because you start a business does not mean that it's going to be successful. I'm going to say the 80-20 rule. I'm going to say that 20% of the people are successful and 80% of the others are not successful. So that's something you're going to have to look into. What is your plan, your backup plan, if your worm farming biz vision does not come to pass? Do you have something else that you would look into to so keep making another goal because you can't give up just because you fell one time doesn't mean that's the end of the world there's a reason why we fell we have to just look into that as a learn <coughs> excuse me learning experience to help us learn and grow so like i said think about the 80 20 rule there will be 100% people that try this, 80% will fail, and the other 20 will be successful. So hopefully you'll be in that 20 percentile. This is my mixed worm bin with reds, blues, and European night crawlers. Now, you're probably asking and thinking, AJ, what makes you think that you would be successful if you sold worms? And to be honest with you, I have sold worms. I sold about 3,000 to locals around here. And not to toot my own horn, but the reason I know that I would be successful is because I surround myself with people that are successful, people that like to help and share the knowledge to help me become successful. I treat others with respect and dignity. I'm honest. I'm always willing to learn something new. I'm not scared to keep moving forward. I've, I'm okay with learning from past mistakes because that has helped me to become the person that I am. So that's just a few things that I have learned over the years. So like I said, I'm not trying to be a uh, cocky or arrogant person, but that's just what I know, and that's how you become successful in life. And I know for a fact, when it comes to business, when you put other people before yourself and to help them and to give them the best deals for their money, you will become successful in life. So question for you, are you self-centered? Do you drink a lot of vitamin I or do you eat a lot of vitamin I? Because when you do that, you're not gonna be successful. You have to be a giver and not a taker, because that's going to help your business to succeed. So now let's look at my junk mail worm bin. This was the worm bin I was putting junk mail in. It has a mixture of worms too, reds, blues, and euros. And I will stop using paper, because I've, I noticed that it starts to mat down and that causes huge problems. But the worms are throughout this bin. And I'm not in a hurry, like I say in previous videos, to get this worm bin filled with worms. Like a lot of worms, I just want this one to slowly increase in population because I have plenty of worms that I could use to get this one started but so what are your thoughts do you like what you're hearing from me when it comes to this type of material because in my channel members if you become a channel member I'm going to take things to the next level if you have any issues I'm going to address them with raw and unfiltered unhinged knowledge 
I want to help you grow because if you have any questions or concerns, like I said, become a monthly channel member. And you can always ask questions and I'll definitely leave you some feedback and my thoughts. Like I said, I'm here to teach, help, encourage, and learn from others. So that's one thing to look into if you're interested into certain issues that you're dealing with in life and don't know who to talk to because we all need each other and you need someone to depend on. Like that one song says. So now let's look at my final worm bin, the worm bucket. This is my worm bucket. It has your pins in it. And now a question for you since you're still watching the video. Have you started a worm farming business? Are you interested? And let me know in the comments box below if you started or not. And if not, let me know the reasons why or what's hindering you from becoming, from starting your worm business. Because I would really like to learn and know your answer. And I could help and encourage you and steer you in the right direction. But this one is going okay, going well. This Euro's in there. No worm chow for this week. But they're happy. I'm going to give them my last remainder of this banana pill. I'm going to cover it up with bedding. But I had to get down to business, guys. I didn't want to sugarcoat anything. I wanted to give you the cold, hard facts. Because you need people sometimes to actually push you out of that nest to get you out of your comfort zone. And I'm, I'm that guy. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Here's another video. And you have a great day. Bye.